Hi there. Today I'm going to show you a comparison of the Raspberry Pi Model B on the right here versus the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus on the left here. What you'll notice immediately by looking at the two side by side is that the Model B has got only two, two USB 2.0 sockets. Uh, these two here. Now you'll also notice that if you look closely on the Ethernet jack there's no link and act lights underneath, whereas on the model B plus you have two LEDs, a link and act. I'm not sure which is which. I think the link is green. I'm not actually sure. Doesn't matter too much at the moment. So what you'll notice is that uh, they've added two extra USB sockets on the B plus, which is a much much bigger improvement than uh, before. And you'll notice that also on the model B. USB sockets stick out quite a considerable amount, whereas on the B Plus they're all, all but flush to the board, they're almost flush to the board, a couple of mil to spare. That's a great improvement, I must admit. Now then, what you'll also notice is the audio and video, analog audio and video sockets on the Model B stick out hugely well the the video socket does on the right the yellow one um whereas on the b plus that little black jack there black jack get it haha <laughs> little black jack here is the analog audio and video combined in a four pole connector could be four pole could be three pole could be wrong now um now also an interesting thing to note is that on the model b you have four axes, four connector axes. You have the micro USB going this way to the right. You have the GPIO which could be up, could be back, doesn't really matter. Uh, audio, analog audio and video going to the back. You've got USB and Ethernet going this way and you've got HDMI going that way to the back or to the front even. Um, that's quite clunky. I mean you've got to have cables running in four directions like a spider. I don't think that's the best uh, the best design to be honest with you, but not not a criticism. I'm just I'm just observing that uh, possibly the B plus has fixed that, and it has. You now have you have micro USB, HDMI, analog AV, all going this way in one axis, and you have Ethernet and USB going to the right in that axis. That's it. I don't actually count GPIO because GPIO um, could be going up or out. You can go either way you want. You can have a ribbon, ribbon cable going that way towards the HDMI or this way. Um, but uh, yeah, and also you'll notice they've got uh, 40 pins now, two rows of 20, as opposed to the Model B, which had 13, which is sorry, 26, two rows of 13. They've now exposed a lot more GPIO to the user, which is a great improvement. You also notice here you've got uh, these four LEDs here. Act, sorry, five LEDs. Act, power, FDX, link, and 100, which means I suppose 100 megabits per second for the Ethernet. Um, on the B plus, you've only got two now. You've got two LEDs which are here. Act. And power. I'm not sure why that decision was made, but it's uh, there's only two LEDs there. Now there's also a little header here, an unpopulated header, next to these LEDs called run. Does that say run? Run, yeah. I'll have to investigate that more closely. Anyway, so that is the B plus, and that is the B. As you can see, let's do a an AV jack comparison. Yeah, it's quite a lot better because you've got now got all the audio and video peripheral coming out in one direction on the B plus down here. So you've got everything coming out in one direction, as opposed to analog here and HDMI around the back on the B. It's a bit clunky. I mean, it works. It's great. Don't get me wrong. These are fantastic units. I mean, the, 
Raspberry Pi is a wonderful platform, absolutely a joy to use, a joy to develop for. Very, very, um, I really love, really love it. I can't express how much I love this platform, but they've definitely evolved and made a better platform with the, the beautiful B+. And also, you'll notice that the um, the camera board, sorry, yeah, the camera board ribbon connector has stayed in about the same position the, on each uh, revision. Let's show that's the wrong connector actually. Here we are. I'll move that across a bit. There's the camera connector there on the B plus, and on the B, it's just there. Now. Also, the DSi connector, which is also known as the LCD connector, um, which is not a product which has been released yet, they're still working on that. On the Model B, on the left, it's there, and on, on the Model B Plus, it's there. As you can see, there's not much in it, really. there's pretty much in the same position. Um, also, um, I've been told, I found out that uh, on the B Plus, there's an improved, um, improved power supply. From the micro USB, there's a circuit here with these two um, switching coils, these two inductors here, which are um, they're called, they're called switching regulators. This circuitry here is more tolerant to brownouts and power problems like under voltage, etc. So it's far more tolerant of, um, of that. I don't know much more about them, I'm afraid. Um, whereas on the B, I think you just had a 5 volt regulator, and that was it. As analog regulator, whereas here there's a switching regulator circuit, which is far better on the bottom left corner here. Now, also finally, I wanted to make a note of the fact that on the Model B you've got a humongous, stonking great SD card socket. Let me just populate it with a card. As you can see, that's asking to be knocked out and bashed and all sorts of things. I mean, that's asking for trouble. You know, I mean, how look how much that sticks out. That's about. 15 20 mil whereas on the model B plus as you'd expect there's an improvement they've put a micro USB sorry a micro SD socket there a latching socket where the card just locks in there captively they've even kindly named it micro SD card in case you get confused <laughs> so there we go that is a very quick comparison of the beautiful micro sorry the beautiful Raspberry Pi Model B versus the B plus. Well done, Raspberry Pi Foundation. You've excelled yourselves. That really is an amazing, amazing product. It really is a great, great improvement there. This is a wobbly camera. So there we go. Let me do an aerial shot of those so you can see them side by side. So we have the Raspberry Pi Model B plus and the Raspberry Pi. Model B. One thing I forgot to mention was on the B Plus, you now have a separate isolated analog audio um, circuit. I think it may be for the video as well, I'm not actually sure. Definitely for the audio. There's a separate power supply circuit powering the analog side um, for, well, I think it's probably isolated for the power. So there's no more buzzing and crackling and digital interference on the analog output. It's now completely clean and quiet on the audio side. So well done for that, that's a big improvement. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I think that has uh, educated you or entertained you or both. God bless you. See you soon. Bye bye.